Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata Consulting. In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the latest product recommendation feature added to marketing automation, how to set it up with Shopify. Before I jump in though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. So when we go into marketing automation, the first thing we're going to want to do is set up the integration into Shopify. If you already have done this, you can go ahead and skip ahead and I'll do a quick review of the product recommendation feature. But this is going to be the bulk of the hardest part of getting this set up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the settings and integrations. I went ahead and I have already connected the Shopify store for us um, just to get everything pulled in for the demo. But I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what it would look like anyway. So you'd want to hit connect app, e-commerce, and then go ahead and choose Shopify. When you do, it's going to ask you for your Shopify store, which is the My Shopify. So that's you can see there. And then it's going to ask you for a handful of API keys. So what you're going to want to do is go to the settings inside of your Shopify store and go to apps and sales channels. First thing you're going to want to do is go to configuration, hit edit, and you're basically going to want to go down and turn on pretty much all of the read fields. If you're, if you're feeling you want to do the bare minimum, you can test the connection. Um, once you have a couple selected and see which ones are missing and it'll tell you, and then you can select those and then your API credentials. Once you have configuration, at least one, here's your access token. And then you'll also have your API key and your secret key down here, which are going to be the other components you're going to need for the connection. So um, that is probably the hardest part of this whole tutorial is just getting this set up, but it all exists back here under settings and then apps and sales channels. So you'd come back here, develop apps, and you would want to go ahead and create an app. And then this would take you to this back end back here where I just walked you through the configuration API. So that's how you would go ahead and make the connection. And once you do, um, the field mapping should auto populate. It's just going to have all of the default fields that you would have in your e-commerce store. So once that's connected, let's go ahead and take a quick look at how the um, new product recommendation feature works. So it does work in both journeys and marketing email campaigns. Let's go ahead and create one and do a quick demo test and kind of show you how it pulls in the data from your, uh, from your e-commerce shop. So we'll call it Sonata shop. I test. And this is important. The new product recommendation feature will only show up on the e-commerce type. So you do have to choose e-commerce. Uh, the same is true when you are doing a journey. You will also, when you create your email, you'd want to choose e-commerce. It will not show up on simple email for the builder. Um, I'll go ahead and skip ahead later on this part to save some time, but you do just go through and do your normal to subject and from. And let's go ahead and check out this new uh, feature ad. So we'll go ahead and use one of these templates. And let's say we have a new t-shirt um, we want to show our employees. Let's go ahead and delete this default. And we'll go over here to the builder. And here we have the latest product recommendation. Uh, so we'll go ahead and choose a single product. And they do have some of these not activated yet. And I'm guessing it's because our shop doesn't have um, at least a hundred customers or 50 orders. So I'm curious if, if with one, of, if one of you watching this video have a much larger database in customer and uh, orders purchased, be curious to see if these are active for you or not, if you drop a comment below. So for this one, let's just go ahead and see our most recently added and we'll go ahead and save and yeah, so there we have it. We've got our latest uh, product here and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. But if I had saved and proceed and send this out, theoretically, when I receive my email, I should see this um, like I'm seeing it right now with our latest product. So 
me go ahead and send this to myself and then uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward here in a second and see what it looks like. All right, and as you can see, um, I emailed it to myself and I guess our latest product is uh, this men's premium long sleeve t-shirt. So I pulled it straight from our shop um, and there you have it. A super, super cool feature ad, really exciting. I mean, it's great to see marketing automation already making these new uh, additions um, to their products. And yeah, excited to see, you know, the sky's the limit. Maybe we'll see WooCommerce soon um, as well as I know a lot of, you know, our clients at least use WooCommerce. So hopefully in the near future, we'll also see that store added uh, to the back end of marketing automation as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments section or visit club.zanata.com, our online community where you can find other resources and ask questions there as well. Till next time, have a great day.